Alright, so Jackson, you've done this show before with us, so I'm gonna have you and you're gonna thank that part of your great as you are. And we're gonna start leg like heavy. You're going this way. Right leg up. now we have a small low round muscle now going to be some high as I'm throwing that kick, same time, both feet. Both feet move together. I'm going to primarily made for balance. There we go. Now, you start. So, you can eventually do this high, but in the way that uh, Grand Master Jones would do all the performance, it is we normally have rules and restrictions for how we do our clock, right? So, in our martial arts, how do we score points? Thank you. Yes, landing a hit will give me points, but what strikes to what parts? Head. One point for punch to the head. I'll give you for kick to the head. What about the body? Okay, one, no matter what. Punch, kick, one point. What about the throw? Now, that's just our system. There are a lot of other ones that um, the rules change. One of the big rules in ours you can't hit below the belt. You need some legs as well. And Taekwondo, that's not such an issue. And sparring in tournaments is really fun. It's actually very enjoyable, nice experience. But in real fight, it doesn't matter. No. Oh no, wait, no, stop. I can't. I only have to hit you in the head. Come on. Leg. Really strong. So, start ready. Hold on. While I kick, he's just going to back up the whole time. Small shuffle. Hold our kick. And go. All the way down. The instructor's not going to stop walking. Ready to make five things. Hold on. Almost like I'm holding back stance. Back stance. Okay. Gather. 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 We're going to go a little bit slower this time. Same idea. This is a roundhouse kick. So your roundhouse kick should. Yeah. 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 Okay. Go. Okay. Thank you. 
we're gonna make our own uh, mode thing. We're gonna do one skip, go around house, jack crawl. Go around house, jack crawl. Ready? Sounds great. When you're first learning, Jackson, you remember how uh, everyone started? One, two, three, our skip is five. But much improved. Still work all over there. Right? Yeah. Here we go. Around, inside hands. Around, inside hands. Last one before we break up. They might get a shot in this game. They can't When we do it, don't try and just swing your leg up. That's a lot of strength that you need from your hip flexor. That's a lot of strength. Think that. Okay. 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 This in your whole leg, or just your knee? Whole leg. Well, there's more weight on the side there, so if it's just your knee, then you don't have to pick up your whole leg like this. This, when you have your kick, focus on bringing that knee in. That way, you only have to circle with your knee rather than oh, whole leg like that. Axe kick meant for close or distance. Right. So, first kick, set me up so that I'm a lot closer. Start again. Really cool. One. And then really close. Now, you guys work really hard for me. All I want you to do, turn around, take outside. As long as you're facing that direction, and you put on your mask and prep, get your new one. Last time, Jackson, you're going to be with ready self again. And then we start. Jackson, have you used side before? Side? As long as those hands are there. You have? Why don't you use hands? These are much stronger, so I'll show you the skill, and then you're going to do the skill. So, first one's our positioning flip. 
Just like Pumper. Right here. Whatever you want, yeah. Then you have the sword going on. Right here. Always catch it. There's just regular right right one hand just like you and back the you do that. And you back. Uh, I'll back up. Then we're going to focus on something. So you notice a lot of I show Okay. Are you are on your arms are So, what I have to do is really hold lightly here and only have it support. Yep. So, slide your side. Maybe a lot harder to do. Back up. We're going to move around a little bit. While we're doing that, we need to and then, yeah, and so if you're getting to the outside side one back, or if you want to keep it simple, you can just have outside, and then we'll outside. I think it's probably inside, yeah. harder size still, but either they'll hold them up to the four more days. So, I know you're kind of far away. You have to be far away. Don't want to be close. I start reaching for you with this. Back in the middle of the park. I can't start moving. Well, so you're just going to be that. Yeah. What's in front? That can be walking on that. That's our big one. Next, just like your tonka skills, you have your sweeps. I think those are pretty easy. Right? You have your long sweeps and you also have short sweeps. You have your stabs. Same thing with side. The stabs are always horizontal. So your stabs are always one, two, three. And here, and back right there. You don't want to be like this. These parts are here. So, already here. Now, always on the front. Alright, back with your right foot, about three steps forward. I'm in the wall. Thank you. 
There's no reason to block this right. in. Don't block this in. Now, yeah, you also have your clouds. Yeah, this one's a little more difficult. Your cloud stem. Go inside hand, outside hand. Inside, outside. This is like a downward motion, right here, and you know, the striking uh, skill. Very similar to that. Right, so, and you see that person. That one's normally on a block. So, your second one, one, pretty much just as important. Two, two. Three, three is why we don't need both one of your critters. We'll make our comments two. So, by calculating the word block that one, um, that's why I have my section. One of my favorite things I did, and I will inform you. I mean, I got the spar right now. Classic. Yeah, so that takes a little more time. You can use that front hand, or foot, kick, whatever. You can use that as a distraction too. If you want to get in the face, you said go in, right? So you go. If you see someone stick their hand up here, and you think you're going to look at that, not that. Move around. Oh! See? Really good. And if your partner starts to catch on to that, you're not using this hand, what should you do? Right. But if they're starting to notice it. Now, so I'm making a pad door. And you're starting to high block, block middle block, and low block, right? I have a high right. block counter for your baby. So a high block counter is always good. Let's try three blocks, right? I'm going to do the same thing every time. And that flip hand comes next. Eventually, you're going to catch on to that, aren't you? What can so that last one you didn't even look at this one? I know, right? You knew that that was the distraction, you know, that I was going to do a prop here. Yeah, I'm going to do something very similar, right? Yeah, you can actually design. use it if they're only blocking. So you always start forcing it. I'm going at it. First one, go over here. Start with the side. We're going to do maybe about 30 seconds. And shift your weight. Striking. I want you to use and some of those blocking skills. I'll let you see a little bit of weight. About 30 seconds. Go. And. Five blocks. Always. Go up, 
You have sparring initiatives. So that looks like I'm going to attack on like this. Now, on the initiator, you set. I always start one. What that basically does is help me get lined up with you. Now, the first set is to go work on it. Like, hold up. My kick is out. Well, it doesn't matter what style. One more solo shape. You go sparring, you go fight, one, grab, but pull in your side, you don't make your entire body. Never gave you that. And you know, you get out of that. Focus here is not power. My side is good. Two skills. In four minutes, don't worry about your uniform. It will be messed up, I promise. Watch your partner. They drop their hands down. Drop your right off. They're pretty much what I like to do. Kind of go to the outside of your body. That gives me a good angle for my right off skin. If you don't want to do that, you can stay. The same motion as your side kick. But I like your right off Yes. Outside my body, so you're not like it's just not like completely outside, like that. That's just like maybe 10 degrees. Some corners, elbows in your right here, but but also your back face. You watch how you do it. Right, move your hand up and out of the way. So you have to get really close to you where you might get. Okay. Again, now what you're doing is similar to your, your gymnastic convention where you went down, you went this way, you run out of good leg. Same kind of thing because you can do with your hand. One, this way, leg is, leg is exposed, and again, one, out, and three. Now, so this one you always want to be left handed. Oh, 
Grab a hand Alright, I'm going to do a little drill. So, we're going to pretend like we're sparring, and we're going to do either one of those three skills that we did in the room. Moving around each other. We're trying to right hand to left. And we're good. Now, so you have roundhouse kick, side kick, or hand up. Good. All right, next time, if you don't grab hard enough, cross me out. Good. Try a little bit more. Get out of hand to the left. Good. Try to get out of hand to the Good. 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 You can also act. I know like here. Some of these skills. I go. I don't know. I'm sorry. Side kick. Over the ground. I can go one and run out skip. Side kick. Things like that. Just the player out of it. This is a really effective moment. Not a lot of students really excite me to round their wrist like this. Two more rounds. The next one, what I'm going to do is your. The start when you stay motion where you're crossing your hand. Different when your hand is on top. So, sparring, switch. So, let's say my left hand is on top. I'm going to rotate this way. And this is way down, which is this. This is the yawn hand. 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 On the right hand, this way, John, where I go under your arm. That's my John name, sir. John name, left hand. Right hand. Left hand. Left hand. Left hand. Left hand. Left hand. Now, when you're doing your um, testing, most likely it's going to work where you can do either the any of the scopes you want, they won't be like, okay, <laughs> so if you're going this way, feel the rotation. If it feels like yawning, you're yawning. It's like, wait, I'm ready. Don't worry about me. I'm ready. Get him credit. I'm ready for it. 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 Well, we'll pull right. Oh. This. Here you go. Okay. Like another one again. You really want to do that? <laughs> All right, try quick on that. Let's do it. And quick on the right hand. Yes, that was good. Maybe first though, he would got the way down the back. 
This way, going under, now pulling the ball down. I'm not sure before. Back away from you. You can put on a mask. I was old. Well, all the way back. I'm to the floor. Yeah, you can walk a lot of those tracks. I got you. No, same story, Joe. That would be the point. You don't have to play. I think I'm going on and just go across. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 This time, I want to do it. Yeah, maybe. Similar to Alaska. Oh. Hey, anything you want to do? Or to work. Okay, well that one that'll be your play down motion, but so with your play down, a lot more uh what I see you doing to arms up. What I see you doing is here you're letting your Wrist on your own. Hey! Okay. So, please go back to the same price before you finish. Hearing on that, you dare say something like her. That's the meaning of the way. So, yes, I've seen. Yeah. I learned the uh, word story for my first one. There's a Uh, 
I guess it would mean 